Does, well, who yeah. was it that, um, who, who did you interview recently when people like the whole comment section was lighting up with people being like, like this guy recorded himself oh, asking Mike that Myers. question, Mike Myers. I just don't understand it. I spent my whole career <laughs> interviewing everybody. Yeah. And that video went viral first on Facebook reels, then on TikTok, then on YouTube. And there were so many comments being like nice fake interview. That's or like, so funny. This guy's pretending to interview Mike Myers. It's like, why, why do you think that they picked that one video to say that about? So he was in a studio with great professional lighting and wearing a lav mic. Like, mm. It was being produced by Netflix. He was yeah. promoting his TV show called The Pentaveret. Yeah, yeah. I was in, at the time, I just moved in with my now wife. Yeah. I was in her spare bedroom with like terrible lighting in my laptop. Like I get when you put the two images next to each other. Sure, yeah. They didn't look the same, but isn't that every Zoom interview? <laughs> yeah, right. Like somebody has a better mic or somebody has a better camera. <laughs> and it was just my framing was a little bit tighter. Yeah. It was a little bit wider. So the way that it was edited together. <laughs> nice fake interview. It, I had so many comments from people being like, why'd you fake this interview? And then it was getting liked on Facebook by hundreds of people. That's hilarious. So I started responding to people and going, well, here's the full interview. Yeah. And then no one would even bother to look at that. Of course not. Yeah. And like during the full interview, like Mike Myers grew up like 10 minutes from where I grew up in Canada. Oh, wow. So at the start of the interview, I'm like, hey, I grew up in Pickering. He's like, oh, Pickering, which is known for having a nuclear power plant. And he's like, were you close to the nuclear power plant? I'm like, how could you tell? He's like, oh, you do have a bit of a glow about you. And yeah. like, it is a pleasure because I grew up in Pickering, Ontario. So hey. yeah. So all of these references, Ken Scarborough and all the Canadianisms, I love them so much. Oh yeah. N near the nuclear plant. Of what course. Thing? I can't yeah. you tell. Yeah. No, you're glowing. That's you're it. Glowing. Yeah. What do you think is the biggest misconception about Canadians? Uh, well, one of the things, um, I think people can fuse our kindness for weakness. Mm. And uh, I think that people do so at their peril. The fact that we had this back and forth about right. this. Like real banter about something that wasn't about his show. Yeah. Right. Like people thought that I just like <laughs> took an answer that he had already <laughs> given in another interview. <laughs> And then I recorded myself asking a question that might lead to that answer. Well, it's like literally the smallest amount of any due, dil due diligence or research possible would have given them the answer to the question, which is like, click on Chris's profile. Let's see what this guy's all about. Oh, there's 48 other interviews with A-list celebrities and actors and actresses and wrestlers and anybody in between. Like, maybe it's real. In the time <laughs> you know? that person took to write the comment, exactly. they could have Googled my name and, right. and Mike Myers' name and right. saw the interview. Right, exactly. So that was... Look, that's just the internet. Yeah, right, that exactly. the yeah. internet, like, summed up right there. Totally. People coming to conclusions without knowing anything. Yeah. And... I'll, I'll never understand that one. Yeah. So those are some of the, those are some of the blessings about having stuff go viral is you have, you get an objective sense of what people think about you without knowing you at all. <laughs> you know? Oh, there's so many mean people. <laughs> yeah. I just totally. don't understand it. Yeah. It's weird, man. Um, it, it's weird. I, I just think it has so much to do with how much that person hates their life yeah. secretly. And, you know, it's, there's like this religion of skepticism that's popped up because people just can't believe that other people are living a version of life that they would kill to live. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they have to, in their mind, justify why they don't have that life, Yeah. you know? And they and so it leads them to just continue down the criticism it's, path it's Facebook, because that's the best Facebook way that I can handle worst. it. Like, the, cause the reels on there have the potential to really go viral. Yeah. The comments. So your stuff's being shown to people who have no idea who you are. Mm -hmm. And it's just amazing. Just the, the, I've stopped looking. I just now post on Facebook and just don't look back. Right. 